time to move on to the K-State score predictions and hot takes for K-State versus Houston. Let's pull up the graphic from collegefootballinsiders.com. Here oh my we go. God. <laughs> <laughs> K-State <laughs> has a win probability of basically 87%. 87% of the time, K-State's going to win this football game. You want blue, specifically dark blue. You do not want red or dark red. And as you can see here, there are a lot of red and dark red for Houston. They have a projected score of 32 to 18, uh, which is essentially the spread, which I believe, let me look at it real quick. I got it right here. K State is favored by 13 and a half. So they have K State covering the spread. So as we, as I take that down here, uh, as we move forward here into our score predictions, I'm going to go to Kenny first. I always go first. It's time for Kenny to give his score prediction first I'll for take, the Wildcats yeah. versus the Cougars. I'll take the reins. So I appreciate the confidence. I think it was Damon that said uh, that we should hit 50. I appreciate the confidence. And usually I would uh, be fully backing that score prediction. But here's the thing. The Cats have not shown that they're willing to score over 50 points or even hit the 50 point margin. I mean, we would have, we would have in the Oklahoma state game, I believe it, or no, it was the uh, West Virginia game. If they did call that uh, a touchdown with Joe Jackson, but it just seems to me like this is going to be a tough game to throw the ball. And so uh, it, it, it's going to be a messy game if it's going to be, you know, lots of rain. So I think that's mainly the reason why they have K-State only scoring around 30, but I'm going to have a little bit more confidence than that. Um, due to the fact that I believe uh, there's going to be a lot of turnovers on the Houston side because they are already really showing that the turnovers are not going in their favor. And if you add weather conditions to that, it's not looking good. And K-State has also been really good at forcing turnovers. Uh, I mean, saw it at full display uh, last week. So um, I just believe that K-State's going to actually, you know, we saw their field position thing and it looked really bad. I think this it, this is the game to kind of turn that around in our favor. Um, so I've got the Cats with 45. 45. And no, no, 41. 41. I'll, I'll, be, I'll take it down a notch. 41. Houston Cougars. I'm giving you seven. I love the optimism. Um, here's what I'm going to say about my score prediction. It's going to be rainy the whole game. I think K-State's going to have one or two turnovers as well. Um, I don't think kicking field goals is going to be very optimistic in this weather. Um, I think K-State's going to win something like 28-14, to 14, a lower scoring game. Fans might be upset about it in terms of the score. Um, but like I said, Willie Fritz is a defensive-minded coach. Case is going to win 28-14, and it's not going to feel that close because I don't think their offense is that good at all. And so even though k is only going to win by two, two scores, I feel like Houston's going to have to work really, really, really hard just to get the two scores that they get. So I got K-State winning 28-14, hitting the under on the spread. Right. Moving on to the uh, hot takes. Kenny, we'll go to you again here first. What is your K State hot takes for people that don't know? Explain what it is and then give your predictions. Well, this is when we get into the game. So we gave our score predictions. Now we're going to uh, sort of give you like a, sort of a, a, a fun and hopeful stat that either a player or a couple players are going to have or the specific moment in the game. Uh, and we want to always make it as hot as possible. Uh, two weeks ago, Stevie said there was going to be a non-offensive touchdown. We got that last week. I said Austin Romain was going to force a fumble. That happened. Um, it, and it's just, it's so crazy that we still remain 100% uh, with our hot takes every single week. This week, I've got both DJ and Dylan getting over 100 rushing yards this game, at least. And as far as, uh, as much, uh, and also on the defensive end. So that's my offensive hot take is the running backs are going to get over 100. Both of them are going to get over 100. 
Um, I'll even throw Avery's in there. He'll probably get around 50. Uh, so we got over 50 with Avery. We got over 100 for both DJ and Dylan. I think this is the game where Dylan actually gets a lot of running plays because we're going to be way far ahead and Dylan will probably play a lot more. Um, and for the defense, Brandon Mott is going to get himself. He's going to get three sacks and he's going to force a fumble. I freaking love it. I freaking love it. I, I wanted to go to you first because I felt like you're going to go something with uh, Dylan. And here's what I'm going to say for my hot takes. I got K-State rushing for 300 yards in this game as a team. I think also Avery Johnson is going to continue his streak of at least two touchdown passes to tight ends. And so I'm going to say Garrett Oakley gets one and Will Ancio gets the other one because it feels like he's getting more ca catches lately than Will yeah. Swanson. Um, defensively, I have Kasich getting four turnovers, two interceptions, two fumbles. They're going to be trying to come back. I talked about it. They're, they're like last in the country in red zone offense, scoring offense. They're going to be taking lots of chances, lots of trick plays. Kasich is going to take advantage, two interceptions, two fumbles. So that is the, that, that, that's the K-State Hot Takes and uh, K-State Score Predictions. Yeah.